We are in Ulla, is it Ullapool? Ullapool, Ullapool. And we've just got back, we've been out for a walk and we treated ourselves to a Chinese. So we ducked and dived and missed most of the showers. Um, and we're now in a hotel car park for £10 a night. So we're happy. We're actually like a stone throw from the coast. And uh, yeah. So we got back and the kids are tethering the iPad to the phone and looking at Netflix for something to watch. Dinner's ready. And that's a view. Vegetarian Chinese. There we go. And it's cold and quite wet outside, isn't it, babe? It is. So we're gonna cozy about up. Five, about five degrees. Yeah. We're gonna cozy up and have a nice cozy evening in. The heating's on. I don't know how hot it is in here, but I'm actually hot. I've got a jumper on and I'm pretty hot. So, anyway. So we're going to eat. We'll take you for a look around Ullapool tomorrow. We stayed at the Royal Hotel last night in their car park. There was quite a few other vans there. It's £10 a night. We're just going to go and have a walk round. Girls are going on their scooters today. We slept very really, really well last night. Yes. First time in quite a few nights. First time out of wind, wasn't it? Yeah, which one of them do you want me to take? Another motor home going. Uh, getting pulled about by the dog. I think these chaps stayed in the hotel last night. They're obviously going out diving. But the two boats were parked next to ours. Looks like it's going to be a nice morning. This is the only morning forecast to be dry. So we thought we'd go for a nice walk. We had a little walk around last night actually. There's a Tesco's in town, we popped out and got Chinese. Which we haven't had for ages and ages. Everyone's little dinghies lined up. Do you want to get it from there? Maybe. Should we get a coffee? Yeah. You have to do it that close. <laughs> Why is this like that? Why not? Quite a few people go there. Okay. Then. And just hold it. So down by the port, there's quite a lot of things to do. Next cruise to the Summer Isles. Look. Which is quite nice. Uh, this time of year they're only doing one per one per day. More boat trips that you see dolphins and again around the summer islands. And then here you've got bike hire, kayak hire. £15 an hour, half a day £20, full day 8 hours, it's £35, two days £55. And this is the ferry terminal here. A little hardware shop there, news agent, chemist. Chip shop, have a chip shop there. There's a Tesco's up the hill on the left and the Chinese we used. So from where we stayed, we stayed in the hotel the car park last night. There is a campsite down here, but we didn't go on the campsite. And 
here come the kids. <laughs> up with water before we go so made a bit of a mess because I turned the hose on before I put it in the tank but it's only fresh water and we'll get the van set up the scooters put away and we'll head off so the Royal Hotel in Ullapool it's where we stayed last night they have 10 pitches so there's a row of them over here with picnic area over there there's a water tap behind that motorhome there then these two pitches just here they let out as well but there's been some divers stay here overnight in the hotel they've dropped their boats in the water this morning but there's a water tap just there behind the bus they don't have any waste facilities or toilet facilities so we'll end up finding a little campsite somewhere up the road or a waste point where we can get rid of those today well, I think we could go a couple of days without doing it. But it's been a really nice morning here. We're going to head off now. Keep going around the NC500, heading south down the west coast. And see how far we get. 